Never have I ever fallen in love. <laughs> it's the money. Hey guys, happy new year. This is our first video of the year actually. Right? Yeah. And we're going to start with a game. We're going to play a game because it's never that serious, right? We just want to have fun with you. So we're going to play a game called Never Have I Ever. I'm sure most of you have heard yeah. of the game. So we will ask questions like and then if i have done what's in the question i will do i have or if i have not done it i'll be like i have never yeah you guys ready let's have let's some go. fun okay so i'll start all right never have i ever pretended to be sick to get out of something i mean who hasn't who hasn't who hasn't this is like my area of expertise you know not not like getting sick every time but daily Bailing. I am a bailer. I'm a professional bailer. Actually, I've changed. These days, I've changed. I don't bail a lot. So don't worry. If you want to be my friend, I promise I'll show up at the coffee date. I'll show up at the lunch date. But You're usually, your free time now, right? But right. usually, I bail, 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 bail. Number two. Never have I ever fallen in love. <laughs> it's the money. It's the money. I'm joking. I wanted to see Pancho's reaction. <laughs> I thought of you course, might do that. I have, of course, I have. Mm -hmm. But have you for real? Yes, it's right here. I but have. It, like in the heart. I didn't say with you. Oh. Who? Cool. Okay. I have. We I are. Have. We are. We are. What is it called? Through. We are neutral. Mm. We are neutral. All right. So never have I ever sleepwalked. Never. <laughs> Wait, sleepwalking doesn't mean talking or laughing. Do you do that? Do but you, you have done. Okay, I don't know. I've never sleep. I've never sleepwalked, and I've never sleep talked. You do talk though. No, I don't. Pancho is a sleep talker, sleep snorer, everything. Never. <laughs> I'm alive at night. <laughs> never have I ever gone skinny dipping. Really? You're I've lying. never. I You're can't lying. even swim. How am I supposed to skinny dip? How am I just supposed to jump like on something? Like Night time at the beach or the so lake. So tell us, tell us, where did you skinny dip? Oh, when we went to the beach night for the fire, for the bonfire. Yes, we didn't. That know. night, you did. Oops. He he left me in the <laughs> tent. We were camping by the by the beach with our friends. Yeah, I have friends. friends. I know you're shocked. <laughs> we were camping. At the beach with friends and then at night they were like yeah guys let's go skinny dipping i just watched no pancho went did you go big dog no i i didn't go i just watched so him going went. but i have gone many years ago it was fun but it was cold i can't imagine like you have to jump in the ocean at 12 a.m at midnight well yeah it was the summer water, though. no the water is cold it's dark there are piranhas i mean the whole point is to do something crazy though yeah, so yeah. I'm not that crazy. No, you're not. You're not. The next one? I right, never have I ever used a fake ID. Oh. Come on. I have never used a fake ID. Imagine. Come on. Really? Yeah. Maybe because I have. Of course I have. It was like pretty common. One out of three people had it in high school. No, I never used a fake ID. No? I'm such a good kid. My mom What about a residence that. permit? A fake one? No, I'm, I'm about to get a fake one for that. <laughs> I used to have one a long time ago. Not for this country, if you're watching FBI. Okay. <laughs> FBI, you should come get him. No, I've never faked an ID. Oh, the next one. If Pancho says I have never, I'm just going to like leave the set. So, never have I ever clogged the toilet. Come on, these things can handle me. Pancho is lying. Mm -hmm. He has clogged the toilet like a lot of times. Hey, when I go in there, I do the deed. It's not you my fault these toilets are so wimpy. We don't need we don't need like the details, but stop lying. That's your professionalism. Mm -hmm. I eat well First and of I... all, he takes like thirty no, three hours in the toilet and then the rest is his. That's not true. Yeah, you know that. Go to the next one. So the next one is never have I ever gotten lost alone in a foreign country. I have. Sure. Who hasn't? Right. If you roam around, especially if you're backpacking or something, like you're not part of a tour and you're just going out around your way, it's like trying to find your way in the metro or things like that. That's happened and you don't speak German or 
Slovak, Slovakian. 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 So yeah, I have uh, like of what course when you, you go, yeah when you go to a new place you have to get lost. I have gotten lost in, in Rome. I've gotten lost in Rome. I've gotten lost in um in the airport. That's my special. You got lost in Nairobi too. Getting lost. I also got lost in Nairobi. My own, my own city because it's really big. Yeah. Shame. The next one. Never have I ever gotten a tattoo. Oh, this one. I'm clean. I have never gotten a tattoo. Oh, sorry. I can show you guys. I've never. Never. I got one right here. He has one right here. Oh. He doesn't even know what it means, by the way. It's special. Can you tell us what it means? Yeah, I just like designs of flowery things and leaves, like the Art Nouveau things where buildings and uh, architectural motifs re resemble plants and organic things. So I got something like that, like a, an ivy that's crawling up from your shoulder to your neck. That's the only tattoo you have. For now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next one is, never have I ever pranked someone. I don't know how to qualify this. I one. have. You have seen, if, if you haven't watched the video where I pranked Pancho, he came home from work and I told him that I want to leave the country because I'm so tired of living here. I he should was have known. so I mad. Known. He was so mad. You know why Pancho doesn't know how to prank? But if you haven't watched the video, I'll leave the the link in the description Pancho tried pranking me once he doesn't know where to hide the camera like <laughs> I could see the camera he well, tried once but I could see the camera that's not the only pranks you can do though I have I play around sometimes I you know I make you think something and then something else that counts as a prank right so you have I have okay I have the other one never have I ever trolled someone on social media I have never is that like spying or something? No, <laughs> I have never. You know, guys, this thing is like it's mirrored, so it's <laughs> it's upside down. But no, I think from us, no, from us when we look at it. But you guys, of course, you'll see it. Like I've never. No, you have. No, yeah. I've never. Like you know, when people on social media they gang up on someone, yeah. I've never been part of that gang. That's but not I even cool. I've been ganged up on once. I've been ganged up on once in like 2012 on Twitter. You know. Twitter people are crazy. I don't know what I did. I think I said something controversial and they ganged up on me. Anyway, it's never that serious. No, I mean, I get why people uh, release tension that way because they'll never see you. You can spit and spat and throw punches with words and then you they never see you, but you're just hurting. I don't think that's cool. They are called keyboard warriors. You know, mm -hmm. like if you want to fight me, <laughs> stop leaving a comment, come and fight me physically, you know. Boom, boom. <laughs> like Let's... I do, like I do. Yeah. Okay, so never have I ever driven over a curb. God. <laughs> All the time she drives on the curb, not over a curb. I'm guilty. I'm guilty on this one because also I don't know how. The stereotype of women not being good drivers, probably not true. I am a very good but driver. But in this household, ouch. No, it's the craziness of this city that makes me nervous when I'm driving. But actually, I'm a very good driver. What's wrong with the curbs in Nairobi? Those ones are those ones are okay. Out of your way, right? Yeah. Okay. Never have I ever gotten on the wrong bus. On the wrong um, bus. Or train. Yeah. I yeah. I, I have. have. Sure. I have. Here I haven't used the bus a lot though. Mm. No, I have once I was going to the I was going to the university and then the the trains had striked stroke. <laughs> <laughs> there was a strike, okay. I mean, it happens, like so, when you're in a hurry. So, uh, yeah, I got in the wrong bus. And uh, to be honest, I still don't know how to use buses in this country. I, I just don't know. You know, in Kenya, we use matatus. The one you jump over on and, and you can go anywhere. They don't have numbers. They don't even know. You just ask, are you going this route? And they're yeah, like, yeah. yeah. And, and then they could be lying. lying. They, could, they be could be lying. lying. Or they're like, we're going to use that route and pass through there before we get there. So you yeah. hop on the bus, on the matatu, thinking, okay, they're going to drop so me. So technically it's right, but it's wrong. Yeah. yeah. Okay, never have I ever gone 24 hours without showering. This sounds weird. Um, <laughs> because I've gone camping. You know, you go camping and that doesn't mean you don't wash. Okay, you wash with whatever you can. But you just can't have the shower. Mm -mm -mm, that's not what it means. By showering, it doesn't mean like you have running water. Have you ever gone camping? Yes. Where? At the beach with our friends. Yeah, okay, there you go. Then you didn't shower. No, we showered before we left the house. You didn't shower. It was one night. Yeah, all right. 
<clears throat> but I've gone camping for several days, nights, and then you, sometimes you don't have the infrastructure for that. It's just rough camping. You make a fire, you make your food. That's just how he is. Which, in fact, we're going to do this year. I don't like camping. Video That's coming. That's just how he is. We're going to do, we're going to go camping. One. We're going to rough it up. Never have I ever relieved myself in, in a public pool. Oh, man. I think ah, that's disgusting. Ah, no remember yeah. the story you told me that you were with your mom, and then should I tell them? That wasn't me, though. That wasn't us. Huh? It was some. What story is this? <laughs> you were with your mom, and then you peed in the pool. Nah, that wasn't me. I saw someone do it. Is what I said. Shameless. I would never do that. I actually, and people don't even hide it anymore. Yeah. They're like, yeah, it's normal. And that changes everything for me because I love going to these nice hotels when we can, where they have a bar at the pool. And now I can't stop thinking about it, that people are peeing and drinking and they never leave the pool, obviously. Yeah. I think it's disgusting, man. Stop. <laughs> so if you're one of those people who pee in the pool, stop it. God. Immediately. And get out, do your things and come back. Okay, last one. Never have I ever participated in a protest. I don't know if mine you could call it a protest though. Cause, cause tell us, tell us. So it was this one time I was in school in campus and then there was we wanted the catering to be changed, the campus catering oh, okay. to be changed because we were tired of eating the same food, we were tired of eating the same, you know, Rally fries, burgers and everything. So we wanted like the catering of the school to be changed. So uh, no 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 yeah and we wanted also the dean of the school to leave. I don't know why. I don't know why and, and I just joined. We were on the road and it was fun. It was it wasn't fun. it wasn't like what is it called? Physical. We were just quiet putting papers like this like this on the air. It was fun. Sounds like a bunch of rich kids. So how did it end? We were we were driven back to school. By who? By the drivers. By the people you're protesting against. Oh my god, they bought you out. We were bought with sodas. <laughs> That's, I'm ashamed. God, you shouldn't even tell that story, man. Me, I got arrested. That's how it goes. I had no idea with me because I was smarter than that. Why were you protesting? What was the protest about? Uh, it was... LGBTQ. Yeah, we're running out of time, actually, you know? <laughs> what was it about? No, was the... it was uh, against free trade and better working conditions for people <laughs> and jobs fleeing the country, that kind of thing. And so, so it got rowdy and I was in the middle of things. So why were you even going to protest? <laughs> because I was learning things. It was my, part of my, my political education. Mine is more fun and it made me a strong woman. Really? <laughs> you're, <laughs> you're protesting for more burgers? More meat on my burger? Come on. Anyway guys, uh, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And we're gonna, we have really good content lined up for this year. You're not even ready for it. My God, 2024, come it, to me. It's gonna be so awesome. And I will see you in our next video. Ciao. Ciao.